Uh, ready for this tag team matchup here tonight. Should be a good one. And confidently making their way to the rail. Oh, 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 a sneak attack. But we oh. knew the tag team division was heating up. I didn't realize it had boiled over. Yeah, you can't just jump the, the tag team like this. They're scheduled for a match. Well, they can't, but they just did, Saxton. And now these two marching down to the ring. What are they? Are they going to replace this team or something? It appears to be exactly what their intent is. No, there, there's no way. The official cannot allow this to happen. Well, these two teams have wanted to get their hands on each other for quite some time, and it appears the moment has arrived. We're not. Gonna get the match we thought we were gonna get, but we're gonna get a match. I'm still wondering what kind of condition the team that got attacked is in. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring. A quick cover from Gallows. And he gets the shoulder up. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. Hoist it up. Ooh, my goodness. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. DDT! He just barely dodges. Oh, forearm connects. Luke keeps him away. Spiked. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. From behind, chop block. Down with a sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. There's the tag. Vicious right forearm. Missed timing with that springboard. The oh, world's strongest flag. That was one big behemoth flying down with authority and force. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Double axe handle. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He could pin his opponent right here. And he manages to kick out in one. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Boom! What a right! In the corner. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Uh -oh. And Priest fends him off. Drove him through the ring. Punishing stretch. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Boom, what impact! <laughs> Crushing impact corner. A couple back elbows to follow. And that prevents any offense from Carl. Time to see what you're made of. Gut check by Finn. Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Gallo's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. He's tagging out. Running hip attack, what impact. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh. 
Luke Gallows tagged in. That is a power-packed punch. Stiff elbow will break that up. Oh, what a counter. Snap man right into the... He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Fireman's care. Uh-oh. Evades their offense. I think they've made it obvious that this is far from over here, guys. Yeah, Corey, I just hope this gets resolved before someone gets seriously injured. Oh, right in there. Oh, the reversal by Priest. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Wow! Gut buster! This could do it! And he kicks out of the pen and one. There is no quit in this man tonight. Oh, kind of bolting down on the opponent. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Thunderous right hand. Getting set up for something in the corner. Trapped in the corner, no way out. Shot after shot. So ruthless. This is it. Shoulder up, shoulder up. I mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Tag made, tag made. Solely focused on... Ooh! Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes! Shotgun drop kick! in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. And a big oh. boot! Oh, oh, man. And Priest not quite having the energy to prevent that one. Tag made. What are we going to see now? The OC. The Magic Killer. Feeling like it's over for Priest. Over. He stops the count for his partner. He knows how to avoid contact. Just take a look at the WWE Universe. They know there is no better place to be than right here, right now. Looking wobbly in the corner. Tagged into action. Overcut connects. Kick to the gut. Hoist them up. Whoa, what a Liger bomb. Big forearm. Atomic 
chop. Ooh. Balor's lost momentum here. Carl has everything going how he wants it. Suplex. Here he comes off the tag. With authority. Tag. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Boom. Rocket kick. Stay down. Pure instinct. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. And come on now. Distasteful offense we've just witnessed. Now look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. To the arm. Tag made. Nice close line. Damian Priest, rip locked in, south of heaven choke slam. Priest has him on Dream Street. Thank oh, goodness oh, for the teammate, Just quite in time. Oh. This arena is roaring. I think the desk is shaking. Swift elbow to the gut. Oh, oh good night. Sorry. Oh, there's a response against Finn. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. There he goes, right into the corner. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Kick! Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. And responds with a counter of their own. Tag made the OC. Uh-oh, perhaps looking to put an end to this with the Magic Killer. Balor's in deep peril nice here. Cover. And he stops the count for his partner. Shoves him away to create some needed space here. And Finn batters the competition further there. Yeah, Gallus needs to dig into the reserves at this stage. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire right now. I can barely hear you, Byron. I'm loving this. Using the forearm to their advantage. Counter. And now there's an opening. Caught by the back of the elbow. Close line. Carl Anderson tags in. Oof. Into the corner. This can't be good. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Reaches his partner for the tag. Up and around and down. He's going for the pin. This could be.
Here are your winners, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. You can throw everything you want at an opponent, but obviously that doesn't work on everyone. Yeah, Corey, but that was a tremendous effort considering the situation given. I wonder if this match ends differently with a different plan. I'm sure everyone will be wondering that for a while too, Byron. The most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty Deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring at a combined weight of 357 pounds. Elton Prince and Kit Wilson Pretty. Here's a team who are completely in sync with each other. The epitome of teamwork. Yeah, they're also in sync when it comes to annoying their opponents as well. Yes, boy! Stop saying that. Come on, Byron. Give me one. Yes, I would boy! Not. No, I'm not saying it, Corey. Do it. Do it. Proof that looks can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy. Come on, Cole. Please. Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. The Alpha Academy is here. Byron, I've always wanted to do this. Shoosh! And their opponents at a combined weight of 532 pounds. Chad Gable and Otis. The Alpha Academy. You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. I bet Alpha Academy is thinking that by the end of the night, we'll all be saying thank you. No, no, Saxton, like this. Uh, thank you. Oh, 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 good tip. Thank, Byron. Thank you, you, thank you. You just flunked out of the academy.
And I'm not speaking for me, but I'm sure someone at our table feels academically stimulated by Alpha Academy's presence. Cole, have some damn respect and follow your syllabus. You are looking at the premier in-ring technicians of our time. Athletic excellence forged into the peak of the pro game. We're about to get a clinic. Corey, I've never told anybody to shoosh in my life, but you're coming close to it. And while Pretty Deadly might not take things seriously, you can't deny how dangerous they actually are inside the ring. They should not be taken lightly. I agree, Saxton, except for the part about them not being serious. Look what they're wearing. Serious care was put into that, just like serious care is put into everything they do. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Otis was just a step slow. Tossed into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Oh, shoulders down. This could be it. kick out of that. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. <laughs> Waist lock. Able to counter. Look at fighting out from the opposition. Otis was ready for that. able to reverse. He got whipped into that corner, and he's able to counter. Countered it just in time. And he goes for the pin. Whoa, oh, he kicked out. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. And the attack from Otis avoided. Oh, what a punch. Continuing to work on the arm with a... Just punched him right in the mouth. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Whoa, stiff headbutt. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Face first off the knee! Tossed into the ring. Solid punch. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Oh my God. What are you guys thinking? Obviously, not about the rest count, Cole. Perfect. And Kit Wilson is looking to comes out on top in this tag team match. Here are your winners, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly. A count out win is still a win.
The referee's count is more than enough time to get back in the ring. The loser only has themselves to blame. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds. Tyler Bates! This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 multiple championships a top elite level competitor all over the globe and after all these years a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge shinsuke is battle tested and looks ready for more Shinsuke has proven it with newfound brutality. One of the youngest champions ever in the history of WWE, Tyler Bate has found tremendous success early in his career. An absolute student of the sport, Bate has breathed new life into that classic UK style. Throwing his impressive strength and athleticism, and there's no telling how many more accomplishments he'll add to his resume. 
Size has never been an issue for Bate. This is a man who's always standing tall. But we all know Shinsuke Nakamura is always ready for a fight. Anytime, any place. The king of strong style isn't backing down on this one. Drops a punch and breaks out. Oh, uh oh. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other, man. Display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Setting them up. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. <laughs> oh, God. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. An agile escape. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Into a chop block. When you're as good as Tyler Bate, you get to set the pace of the match. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Caught the arm in his test. The cross arm bar was locked in. Good, but a great counter there. Nice suplex. When facing Shinsuke Nakamura, one thing you'll most certainly have to deal with is his continued frenzy of strikes. What's the best way to contend with that? There's only one option, Cole, and that's keep up. Shinsuke's never going to back off or give you time to strategize, so you have to come at him with just as much fury and match his intensity. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Ooh, nasty kick. Side kick finds the mark. Ooh, ooh. Shinsuke Nakamura landed one there. He's struggling a bit here. You really can't overstate the sheer force that Nakamura can hit you with. Up high! Wow! Cross body! And into the count. Two count. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura! Shinsuke Nakamura wins here quite impressively. Nakamura proving he can accomplish anything he puts his mind to. Oh, I'm so excited for this matchup, guys. Wait, wait, wait. From behind, from out of the WWE Universe. Oh, look, look out. out. Never saw a oh. blindside attack. Uh, how are we supposed to have a fair match now? How can you condone that tactic? Because it's smart. It's about using your head to obtain an advantage. Glad to see all the superstars involved have made it into the ring. But this is no longer a fair fight after that shocking assault while making their way to the ring. Certainly not how I thought we'd be starting this match. Yeah, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. 
There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when you're not looking, Corey. Oh, my, what a splash! Big splash! Corey, Kobe Kingston is known for his resilience in the ring, his tenacity. How can you face off against someone like that? Let me remind you, resilience does not mean invulnerability. Beat Kofi down long enough, he'll eventually fall, just like any other man. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Mm, nice back rotation suplex. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. Side. And he saw Kofi coming. Tossed back into the ring. Wicked roundhouse kick. Oh, man. Leg breaker. That had to hurt. Determined to keep this matchup going. Big kick. Just a barrage from Kofi Kingston. Stax needs to find that spark. He's looking a little weary now. What an explosive offensive attack from Kingston there. Opportunity now for him to capture some momentum. This could be a good chance for Stax to get some distance and rethink things. Big kick. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing ball. Before the kick out. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. And Kenny showing his power. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. And misses on the springboard. Our ringer applied. Top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. They're gonna have to try to fight out of this. Body shots connecting. After humble beginnings, this has really grown into a career-defining conflict for these superstars. For years, their names will be spoken together as everyone recalls the war they waged against one another. Yeah, this is history in the making, guys. Body European uppercut. And it looked like Kofi was the one that was surprised there. Uncorks it, uppercut. Kobe got him back. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Up and around, down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Kobe falling behind here. Continuing the beating on Kofi. Just wearing Kingston down with no resilience being shown. Able to reverse that one. A kick to the stomach. Finish. And a big knee drop. Is it the finishing touch that needs? Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here is your winner, Ken Lorenzo. Well, I wish I could say cheaters never prosper. Yeah, not the case here thanks to that cunning ambush. It's got to hurt having a potential win stolen from you like this. Hey, they could have launched a surprise attack of their own. That's on them. That might just be one of the...
a Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Gentlemen, when Escobar competes, greatness may just be imminent. And Santos isn't one to waste a big opportunity when he gets one. He will fight his heart out to achieve his goals. Here comes a high-flying feed on. This is going to be fun to watch. And his opponent from Jersey, the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Fraser. One of the best young high-flyers in all of WWE. Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup. A truly well-rounded athlete. We'll start with Santos Escobar, the self-styled emperor of Lucha Libre. What does that even mean, Corey? Santos sees himself as tradition and modernity all in one. He honors the past with old school Lucha moves, but pushes into the future with modern presentation and technique. He understands the best way to keep tradition alive is to allow it to grow and change. And if I may add, he's completely ruthless to boot. Nathan Frazier's ridiculous athletic ability can't be understated, though. If he gets going in this one, good luck. Yeah, Frazier really does seem to move at the speed of light, especially when his back is against the wall. That's when he really turns it up. Oh, my! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, Santos counters. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. He can do it here. Just kicks out. He really thought that was it. Oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Nathan Frazier has impressed so much in his short time in WWE. Corey, what do you think has been the key attribute to his success so far? Without a question, Cole, it's his heart. The kid's got fighting spirit, an innate will to win that cannot be taught. And I'm betting he taps into it here. Goops there, a pulling up for a backdrop suplex, followed by a German. And they're still holding on. They're still holding on to their opponent. This time, the tripleta. Good night. Just showing off at this point. Showing absolute control of the situation. Ooh. Frazier gets met with a response. Oh, my God. MCL and ACL could have major damage. Possibly the fibula. Excellent strategy there. Yeah. Yeah. Turning 
the tables. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. Playing possum. Shoulders down. One, two, Barely kicks out. Very close. The T clearly set again. Oh, oh my God. God, what an elbow. Frazier may be thinking high risk. Frazier up top with the frog splash. Nice. Fearless display from Frazier. And that will end it. Here is your winner, Nathan Frazier. And what a win for Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier stepped up and risked it all to get to this point. This is a big moment for him. Mello has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo Hayes! Look, I have to admit, I hold Mello in very high regard. His impressive ascension has been nothing short of meteoric. Multiple title wins, main event matches. This young man has quickly done it all. With no signs of slowing down anytime soon, Hayes has ambition, talent, and motivation to spare. Carmelo Hayes looks eager to get things done. Taking control of his own destiny, this is the newly focused and some have said revitalized Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Mello may be money, but this guy says he's going to cancel that check here tonight.
Baron Corbin ready for action, looking to prove to everyone that he has finally taken control of his own destiny. This is possibly the purest form of Corbin we've ever seen, Cole. He knows he should be respected, but more importantly, he knows that he should be feared. We'll see tonight whether Corbin leaves here being more feared or respected. And let's not undersell the talent and threat of a superstar like Carmelo Hayes, a man who knows... Shoulders down. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Oh, perfect kick. Shot after shot. They're slamming their face down. Corbin gets out of the way in time. Check out this big power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. And when you're dealing with an athlete of Carmelo Hayes' caliber, you have to think you're at a huge physical disadvantage. No argument there, but athleticism doesn't equal knowledge. Hayes is still a rising star in this business. Force him into unfamiliar territory, and you can catch him slipping. Nighty night. Hayes is being cut down at every corner. Hayes seemingly caught slipping. Definitely in unfamiliar territory right now. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. And Carmelo's attitude got put in check there. Corbin causing damage, causing harm. Goes into the pin. Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. A little over eager with that cover. Is it enough? And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. No, a neck breaker. Corbin is imposing his will. Heavy work being done to Hayes right now. A forearm right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Boom! Good night. For it too. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh my god, a close line. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. What a close line. Ooh, stiff punch. Slugging it out. Resiliency on display. Corbin perched up top. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Sky high. Diving clothesline. Incredible height. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. Hopefully this is a chance for them to work through at least some of that pent-up aggression. And Carmelo gets stifled. And he's able to reverse. He went right into that turnbuckle. just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Taking flight. Hayes hits nothing but net. Hayes landed that perfectly. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. 
I got to hand it to Corbin there, showing a lot of determination to avoid the pinfall. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Set up in the corner of the ring. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Basement Haymaker taking that. Deconstructing the knee there. We might be close to the end. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Losing his grasp for this match now. Baron is unloading attacks here. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Put the elbow, nailed it. And Corbin looking overwhelmed there. Yeah, Corbin in the midst of peril right now. gets the win. Oh, I hate to say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. Sami Zayn is ready for a fight. And it is going to be a good one. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212. Listen to the energy in here for Sami Zayn. Sami never gives less than 100% in the ring.
The incomparable Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sami is always up for a challenge. Jey Uso is here, and he is a new man. And his opponents, first, from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso! You look at what Jay Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief. Went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jay will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. Hey, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, and the NXT Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt, this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. for this a triple threat match one fall to a finish between three very hungry competitors egos feelings and bodies are about to be hurting this one cole that's just what happens when you add a third to the mix Come right in the jaw Ugh, what a shot kick to the gut ranked around into a neck breaker Talk about devastation. He switches it back around. And finds a counter. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Zane with a takedown. The coaching club. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gonna take to the skies. This is gonna be crazy. Tomei Kanhito. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Suplex! 
fishing for something beneath the ring. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. Ooh, we are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. And I think Jay's face took the brunt of that shot. Thrown back in under the ropes. Vicious right forearm. Tough position to be caught in here. Face foot. Take takedown. The coach is close. No. What a reversal. Incredible. And Sami Zayn reverses it. He avoids the damage. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Unbelievable athleticism. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Inverted DDT connects. Taking it outside the ring now. Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. And he's taking this to the outside now. That unraveled on Zayn. And gets tossed back into the mat. A little cockiness here from Jay. Vicious right forearm. He's getting a little battered now. <laughs> Call your shot over the left field wall. Somebody's thinking about swinging for the fences. Tables. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Fist right on the temple. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. What a headbutt. Vicious. Sammy C with a big boot. Has Sammy ended it there? Him. Amazing. What a crucial kick out. And the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. Look at Sammy's eyes. Zane absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. Oh, and a reversal. Solid contact from the Viper. What now? A uh, stop right to the gut. And Orton finding himself on the wrong side of some offense there. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. I'm starting to wonder if these superstars even have breaking points. Now we're well beyond that now, Saxton. We're so far out in the deep waters, it might as well be the abyss. Orton measuring him. A knee smack. one of the most tenacious superstars around. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's gotta do to put him away. Absolutely planted. Zayn able to adapt. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. What grace. Float over to the... Float over. Nice. DDT. The Viper escapes hard. Counters the Viper's attack. And he sends him into the corner. Neck
It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. The end is looming now. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Staved off that attack. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Bedlam. Devastating kick. And he tosses it back in now. Great strength being shown here. Oh, my goodness. And Sammy is all business now. And the damage continues to get piled on by Jay. Oh, yeah. Orton has got to find a way to turn the tables on the competition soon. What impact! Now Orton is clearly looking for a fight here. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Agonizing hole. Got to find a way out, and they do. to the kidneys from behind. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. He's able to sidestep there. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Incredible to think, after everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. The Viper shows his instinct. Put into the corner now. Whoa, cross by. Whoa, turn that kendo stick into a long guard. What a crucial kick out, and the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. Look at Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Uh-oh. Sweep of the leg. Good counter. Shoulders down. And he breaks the pin. Ooh, connects to the back of the neck. His face and now Sammy is bleeding good. He's been placed in the corner now. Some good contact by Jey Uso. On point. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Off the turn. What's he gonna do? Up high! Cross body from the top! Oh, sledge! He's going for the pin! This could be it! Into the pay window! And finally, finally, he picks up the victory! Here is your winner, the Viper! This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that.
The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American He just had to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. And his opponent representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. He must be prepared for battle against one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. And if he is, it'll be one of the most memorable moments in his entire career. The Tribal Chief, the head of the table, the leader of the bloodline, Roman Reigns in action here tonight. Growing up in a sports entertainment dynasty, Reigns was never going to settle for mediocrity. He made that perfectly clear early in his career. Now, he's king of the mountain and will swat down anyone who dares climb to the summit. Yeah, Corey, we'll see if Reigns can maintain that position or if he's going to take a tumble down the mountainside. But he could be in for a nightmare tonight because he's facing Cody Rhodes. Cody is as fearless and as bold as they come. You say fearless, but at times I might describe Cody as reckless. His willingness to battle through injury, to tangle with merciless opponents is as admirable as it is dangerous. But it's those same risks that are also cementing Cody's own legacy. Any advice for Cody Rhodes as he takes on the very formidable Roman Reigns? Cody's gonna have to use everything he knows. Every attack, every strategy. Against Roman Reigns, your one best shot just isn't good enough. But I think Cody knows that, and he came here tonight ready to give Roman all he's got. Will the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And countouts are illegal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Yeah, 
kick right to the body. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Cody Rhodes felt that coming. Russian leg sweep. Oof. Really challenging the tribal chief with that. Inside out with a desperation clothesline. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Single leg takedown of their opponent, and there it is. He is getting, trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. That man follows it up with a boot right to the face. Oh, man. Can he do it here? No, he pops the shoulder before three. Wow. Boom. This match grinded him down a little. That signature hard-hitting style of Roman Reigns. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Well, now it's roll up. Gets the shoulder up in one. So resilient. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Shoulders are down, and he breaks the count quickly. He's still in this. Ooh! It rolls his counter. Ooh! Looking for a suplex. Into a suplex of their own. Rhodes denies the attack. Oh, a springboard roundhouse. And the Tribal Chief really having to acknowledge the offense directed right at him at this point. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Able to avoid there. Oh, he retaliates. Oh, foot just stomping down. Just cranking the head. Oh, stop right to the hand. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Uh, off the rope. Oof, back elbow puts a stop to face. These two showing how well scouted they each are. An exceptional showing so far for both Reigns and Rhodes. This is what an instant classic looks like. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. Look, Crossroads may have just vanquished Reigns. Is it enough? The cover two hangs on by a thread. The tribal chief digging down. You might not respect his methods, but you have to respect his determination. It looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Reversal! What a counter! Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Oh, caught him! Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! of showing from Cody tonight. Roman was just as hellacious an opponent as you would expect, but Cody 
finally managed to put him away. But is this really the end of the... All right, from behind, a clubbing blow to the back of the neck, and now the beatdown is underway. Uh, I'm not sure I understand why this superstar is doing this, but we need some extra help out here. Yeah, it doesn't here matter comes why. security. Just get the guy off him. He has lost his mind. They knew what they were doing. I don't even think this opponent can get into this match. Not at all. I mean, this competitor just got ambushed. This isn't right. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this is officially underway. And you know, I just hope we have a clean fight here moving forward. I'm not sure you should get your hopes up. If that starts anything to go by, we are in for a drag out slugfest here. Oh, Gotta man. respect the strategy to work over the arm. And now thrown back into the ring. Up and down, what a slam. He takes control. Into the corner now. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Whipped hard into the buckle, full head of steam. Boom, off the corner, reap. And he goes for the pin. The end was in sight. A big punch. Ouch. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oh, impressive counter. The powerhouse Loomis on the wrong side of things there. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Fast press! Fast press! Get his press! You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Loomis gets intercepted. Dexter Loomis, of course, one of the most methodical, most cerebral superstars in all of WWE. No doubt he has a game plan for this matchup, right, Corey? I think Saxton's more in line with Loomis's wavelength, but I'll try my best to discuss this. Loomis is at his best when he focuses on a single task, whether that's winning or making a suit out of his opponent. If he keeps that focus, he'll be unstoppable. Goodness gracious. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Oh, and Loomis turns the tables. Catching a drop kick. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it... oh he's been waiting for it the whole time. But the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Oh, a wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing, man. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Planted face first. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. 
No Dar with the upper hand. And Loomis has to find a response quick. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. <laughs> cranking the head. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Taking flight. Diving body splash. Everything working against Loomis now. Dar holding nothing back. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Uh-oh. Saved by a leg sweep there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Looks like Noam is wavering a bit now. Loomis came out here to physically and mentally punish him, just like he did there. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Turns it around. It's a goal. Exclamation delivered by Nolan. When it comes to this rivalry, I think we all thought cooler heads would end up prevailing, but that has actually not been the case. Oh, yeah, Michael. Right now, there is nothing that can stop the collision course that these superstars are on. Sure, it's been messy, but that's part of this business. Not every rivalry is a sportsmanlike affair where you shake hands before and after every match. But this is very much the opposite. The Scottish Supernova looking more like a surgeon. Noam Dar is so technical, so precise. Get his press! Oh, what a knee! As darn his grip. And there's the Yurinagi. Landed them. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? And Noam is countered. Oh, a strong impact. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. What's Loomis forming here? Spiked with a year into the, the cover! Three, no! I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Dexter Loomis locking up his opponent, rendering them silent. He needs to break this submission. Desperate left hands trying to free himself, and he does. Smart uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Look out! Suicide dive. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Ooh, watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? This one is headed outside, guys. Bam! Down he goes. And count are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Unsettling, even in his offense. Loomis with the eerie precision there. And he slides him back to the mat. And there's the cover! What a match, and we've got company. Now let the mind games begin. We know there's no love lost. And even after the match, ready for a little more. Well, I think we need some help here to separate these two, or else they're going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to pop off. Here we go. Oh. Trading blows back and forth. Oh, stands up finally. We've got some help. Officials desperately and unsuccessfully trying to separate these two. Oh, the cops. 
keep these two apart. 